Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Francesco, and today I want to cover uh, a new topic. Today's topic is going to be a little bit different because we're actually not going to delve into the topic specifically. Today, I'm going to introduce you to new topics that will be covered separately. And that is section 3.3 and 3.4 of Division B of the Ontario Building Code. If you want the short version of it, we're going to learn all that's in part three of the Ontario Building Code, or a big chunk of it for sure, that relates to getting to these signs. I don't know if you so see these signs in buildings and getting through these signs uh, from what you see in buildings. OK, so that that's kind of what it's going to be about. If you want to get really technical and specific, topic 11 is going to cover section 3.3 in Division B of the Ontario Building Code. Topic 12 is going to cover section 3.4 in Division B of the Ontario Building Code. Today, with topic 10, I want to introduce you a little bit these here because we need to learn some specific definitions so we'll be comfortable with topic 11 and topic 12. The definitions in question are these right here. Exit, access to exit, and means of egress. These are definitions because you can actually find the specific defined words for these in the Ontario Building Code. If you look for these words in the Ontario Building Code, they will be written at an angle in an italicized font. So that means that you can find the actual definition according to the Ontario Building Code, under Division A, Article 1.4.1.2. We're going to look at all three right now, and hopefully, after giving you the definition, I can actually try to explain it to you in a simplified form, in actual English, if you will. Let's start with exit. This is the definition. It's the same one that you'll find in the Building Code. I'm also going to read it. Exit means that part of a means of egress, including doorways, that leads from the floor area it serves to a separate building, an open public thoroughfare, or an exterior open space protected from fire exposure from the building and having access to an open public thoroughfare. And then it says to see this note in Appendix A. Now, this definition of exit, whether or not it's clear to you right now, Notice how it also contains other definitions. There are words inside a definition, inside of this definition for exit, that are written in an italicized font. So this definition of exit uses also other defined words like means of egress, floor area, and building. You can look each of these up, but we're going to kind of discuss means of egress and floor area as well. Okay. Now, what does exit mean? I've sketched for you here, uh, sorry, I'm providing you a sketch that was that was created by someone else. This is a, a floor area. Let's call it, I don't know, the second floor of some kind of space. It's not the ground level, okay? And you can see there's a public corridor. There's a men's and a women's washroom. There are various suites. There's also a janitor room, an electrical room. And then we have the so-called exit stairways. You can see one here. On the left hand side, this exit stairway takes you all the way down to then an exit stairway at the ground floor that takes you outside to safety. Another exit stair is found here on the right hand side. You can see it right here. This too takes you all the way down on the ground floor where it takes you to an exit corridor, which then allows you to exit to safety. For all intents and purposes, okay, for all intents and purposes, an exit, according to the Ontario Building Code, is that space in a floor area, any floor area, and it starts whenever you see this sign here. So if you've seen these signs, from the moment you're under that sign and you walk through that sign, you are in a space of that floor area that's defined by exits, which is under section 3.4 of Division B of the Ontario Building Code. Okay, that this is the short version of it. Now, to be fair, these exit signs are being phased out in Ontario, okay? But exit starts when you leave 
the floor area. So the floor area is defined as that space on any story, any area, up to but not including an exit. So whenever you see this sign, that's where an exit begins. Now, to be fair, <laughs> these are kind of the new exit signs that are being used now. They're replacing bit by bit in Ontario the old exit sign that I just showed you right here. An exit always starts at an exit door. Well, typically it starts at an exit door. And an exit door, you know it's there because it has this sign above it. Sometimes it, it won't have the arrow next to it, and sometimes it will, okay? But these are the new exit signs in Ontario, newish. Once you go through the exit door, then you either go to a set of exit stairs or to an exit corridor. And then, after you've exited this exit corridor, so these exit stairs can take you to more exit stairs, and then finally an exit corridor, and then you're outside to safety, to what's considered safety, okay? So exits, section 3.4 of division B, it happens as soon as you go past those signs, okay? All right. Access to exits is defined just like right here. It means that part of a means of egress, within a floor area that provides access to an exit serving the floor area. This, <laughs> it's okay. It, it, if you are not sure, it's okay. It's okay. So, because you'll notice that this definition for access to exits contains more defined terms within it. There is floor area, which we saw previously, there is exit, and there is means of egress. So let me see if I can define for you what an access to exit represents in the scheme of things. So this is the same sketch that I showed you previously. In that sketch, in this same sketch that I showed you previously, I identified the two exit stairs. Remember that? Okay. So the rest of the floor area, but not the exit stairs. So the part that I'm showing in blue right now, that is the access to exit. So access to exit refers to that portion of a floor area up to, but not including the exits. Okay. So basically it's from anywhere on a floor area to, but not including an exit, like the corridors in the previous diagram. So in that diagram, you know, that corridor that gets you from the suites to the exits, that's part of the access to exit. The doors from those suites onto the corridor, they are not exit doors. So what that means is they have no fire resistance rating associated with it typically. Okay. And that's because they're not exit doors. They're in the space of the floor area that's called access to exit. Access to exit is the floor area up to but not through those exit signs, okay? Those doors in those suites that open onto the public corridor, they're called egress doorways. The last one we're going to discuss is means of egress. They're defined in the Ontario Building Code as a continuous path of travel from any point in a building to a safe location. So, means of egress are exits and access to exits together because it's used to define the travel for any one individual or group of individuals from any location in the building to safety. So, it must include both the access to exits and the exits. Okay? So if I go back to the sketch that I showed you previously, everything here, so both the exits that I'm showing in blue and the access to exits that I'm showing in blue together, all of it is means of egress. So means of egress is exits plus access to exits. It defines that continuous path to leave the building, to get out of a building safely. So 
If you're a big fan of algebra, it's access to exit plus exit in terms of definitions. This definition, means of egress, is necessary because in the Ontario Building Code, these continuous paths to leave a building are specified and quantified. So depending on what kind of building you're getting out of, what the occupancy is in that building, there are minimum distances and paths of travels for getting from a specific spot in a building to outside to safety. Okay, so let's wrap this up. This is an introduction to both topics. The two topics we're going to cover next are going to be topic 11, topic 12. Topic 11 covers, covers section 3.3 in Division B of the Ontario Building Code, and this section is called Safety Within Floor Areas. This section covers access to exits. Topic 12, right after topic 11, is section 3.4 in Division B of the Ontario Building Code. It's called Exits, and it covers exits. Okay, so I'm hoping that this topic here, this little video right now, serve the purpose of just trying to get you accustomed to some of these definitions. Okay, exits, access to exits, e um, and egress. Okay, means of egress. So, hey, there, we're there now. We've covered what we need to cover. So I hope then you're going to follow along with the next topic, which is going to be actually topic 11, where we cover section 3.3 of the Ontario Building Code under Division B, safety within floor areas. See you soon.